Hi students, come to the next topic that is the character IO functions. So in the previous video I explained about the string IO functions. So now what are the character IO functions? The character IO functions are nothing but f get c and f put c. So c here represents the character get is for read reading and put is for writing. So it it is used to read and write one character at a time. So this get C and put C or use it to read or write one character at a time. Okay. Now let's see the syntax of the F get C. So it, I said it is used to read a character from a file. Get C is used to read a character from a file. So the syntax for this is just you have to write the character variable, whatever the variable. So first, first you need to declare that character variable and then you have to write character variable is equal to F get C of file point. So this is how to read a character from a file. So before using the character variable, you have to declare the character variable. Okay. Let me uh, explain with an example. So here is the example. Just first you have to declare the file pointer fp. Then you have to declare the character variable ch. Now ch is equal to f get c of file pointer. Okay, so this is a character variable means the read to read the character variable. Now let us see the put c function. The second one is f put c. So this function is used to write a character to a file. Use it to write a character to a file. So, put means writing. So, here uh, the syntax for this is. Let me try the syntax. F put C. Just you have to declare the uh, write the character variable. So, no need quotation character variable comma file pointer. Okay, so this is the syntax of put C. So example for this is, first you have to declare the file pointer fp and then character ch f put c ch comma file pointer. Just whatever the character that is there, that is written into the file that is present in the location of file pointer. So this is of the character IO functions. Now let us see the formatted IO functions. Formatted IO functions. The formatted IO functions are nothing but f printf and f scanf. So, these are the for different formatted IO functions, fprintf and fscanf. So, these fprintf and fscanf are used for, uh, it is used for number of numbers, characters or strings, whatever it may be, whatever the data type you have taken. So, these functions will be used for number, characters or strings that can be read from file, can be read can be read from file or written onto file. So, by using fprintf and fscanf, we can write the, uh, we can return the file into onto the file or read from the file. So, what items that we have, we can read or write that is the numbers or character or strings, whatever it may be. Okay. So, according to our requirement format. So, these are the two formatted IO functions that are used. So, let me write the syntax for fprintf. f 
printf so it is a formatted output function the first thing is printf is just a simply output function so it is a formatted output function and uh, which is used to write which is used to write integer float character or even string or string values of file so f printf is nothing but it is a formatted output function this printf is used to write integers floats characters or even strings for of a file let me write the syntax for this syntax is just f printf file pointer that is a control string you have to write the control strings are nothing but a percentage d percentage uh, s percentage f so this is integer character or str character or string and this is for float so that is a control string file pointer comma control string comma list of variables so the data items that are used and the variables that are used in the program so this is the syntax for f printf now let us see the syntax for f scanf so what is the use of f scanf so this f scanf you call it as it is a formatted input function so whereas printf is output function and scanf is input function so which is used which is used to read integers float character or string values from a file so this is f scanner now let me write the syntax for this f scanner so this is only for reading f scanf file pointer so the same for uh, just like control string printer you have to write the control string and here the ampersand list of variables means uh, the scanf is always uh, takes the value from that particular address means read the value of the address location first it reads the address location and place that value in that address location so ampersand list of variables so this is the syntax of the f scanf so this f printf and f scanf are nothing but the formatted input output functions thank you